Alrighty, what's going on everyone? Today is November 14th, 2018, and I'm just going to do a quick uh, analysis of today. Um, I did not trade this morning. I actually wanted to try uh, sleeping past the first hour, um, mainly just because a lot of these plays I've been tracking, uh, all their breakouts happen later on in the day. So here's something that I just started doing like a week ago. Uh, just you know retracking all these patterns just to make sure that they're still relevant and you can see that um, most of these breakouts they happen after 10 after 10 a.m. usually around 11 maybe even noon and that's what I really wanted to capitalize on I didn't want to over trade the morning because I've been having issues with that um, so I chose to miss today uh, now just for some context if you look at yesterday the main runner was RSLS and RSLS, uh, this one was just a massive pump and dump, and this happened all right in the morning. And I mean, I should have just like known that. Okay, uh, with wait, I'm sorry, not RSLS. Um, oh yeah, no, on Monday, this one just did a massive morning spike right in the morning, and then it fell off down. So I mean, it could have been my own uh, like problem. Because, I mean, looking at this, I should have known, okay, lots of people are going to be trading in the mornings. But either way, I made the choice not to trade in the morning. And because of that, I missed A and Y completely. Um, it kind of sucks. This one, A and Y, went from 180 up to the low 4s. So that's like 250% gain right there. I'm sorry, my math is terrible. 120% gain. In only 30 minutes so that's a very very strong runner um, but let's just break this down let's look at exactly why it ran and see if we can we can be more prepared for the next one so uh, the first things first we have to look at the news for a and y right so a and y news um, you can see they had they filed a few things they filed 18k um, that just covers that their board is being compensated. Not too important. And then asset acquisition or deposition. And yes, I do see NIO squeezing. I'll talk about that one in a second. So I think this is the news that really sent it. So you can pause this, read it if you want. But the main thing I really care about is, is there dilution and what's the float? So you can see down here at my trade ideas scanner. Um, right here, A and Y, the float is only 1.92 million. So let's just verify that on Finviz real quick. This is a very important website to use if you are a trader. Um, it's completely free. And it's a very quick and easy way to verify what the true float of a stock is. I typed in Finvins there. As you can see, I'm still tired. Um, so, right here, 1.56 million shares in the float. But institutions own around 15% of that. So, true float is like uh, around 1.3 mil. So, even smaller than what Trinity is says. All right. All right, let's look at BAM sec. BAM SEC. Type in A and Y. And you can see that here are those, uh, the, the 8K that I was talking about. And you can pause this and read it if you want. But, Okay, so there is news, uh, no known dilution, low float, that's what we need. Look at the daily chart, we can see that the daily chart isn't too great when you zoom too back, but the main thing we do know about A&Y is that it does have lots of spike days. It's very volatile. One thing to note though is that it usually never holds its gains and it usually never goes for a two day run. You can see all these candles are long top wicks and then they just fall back down, long top wick, fall back down. So this means to us that this is likely not going to be a multi-day runner. Um, and now, all you really need to do to catch on to this is either one, you notice it in the pre-market, 
uh, because of the news or two have a scanner like trade ideas where it has live alerts and i actually stream this exact screen every single morning and if you join my chat room you can actually uh use these scanners completely for free it's a very amazing value and uh it's just one amazing benefit of joining the trade buddy community <clears throat> not to mention the fact that you're going to be in an amazing chat room with over 150 traders who are all giving out alerts but if we just scroll back down here you can see the first thing that popped up was LMFA, but you can see A and Y first popped up on this scanner at around 6.45 a.m. So right, right here, right when it broke over 180. You can see price 193, that's exactly when it started. So you could have been in there right in the very beginning. Very awesome. Now, I do want to talk about NIO because I actually am long NIO. So let's just change this to NIO because I like talking about the main one on the main chart. So NIO, this has been the one that, um, I mean, we've been trading for quite a while now. Uh, this was a recent IPO. This is essentially the Chinese Tesla. Uh, that's what it's, you know, called. And, uh, and this thing has lots of volatility, lots of range. But the main thing I like about NIO today is I just... I mean, I simply bought this breakout over 218. Nothing fancy about it. Like I said in my Excel spreadsheet, lots of these trades I've been uh, like tracking, they break out around 10.30, around 11. And look at what time NAO broke out. 10.50, 11. And now it's ramping up. So this is why it's so important to track your strategy because once you have the numbers on your side, all the fear of trading just goes out the window because you have the hard numbers, the hard data showing that 65% of the time you will make money. Having that kind of data will just boost your confidence so much and will just really allow you to jump into trades where you usually would not have jumped into it because you were too scared. All right, so NIO is a larger float. This is not what I would usually trade, but the, the main thing about NIO is that it kind of has like a cult uh, like surrounding it within uh, the penny stock world. Now, this isn't like a penny stock, so to say, but um, it's like within that realm and people know about it. And it, it really has a cult like following just like Tesla does. And that causes lots of trading volatility and causes lots of opportunity. But like I said, simply, I didn't want to confuse things. Um, I didn't want to play the bounce on A and Y because it's not really my bread and butter pattern. I've really just been trying to focus on these late morning breakouts. And you can see, all you got to do is you buy that breakout. You have like a tight stop and then and then see if it works. I had no idea that this was actually going to break out when it did. I just bought it, um, you know, just because I have the data and I have the experience to back up the fact that, hey, whenever we have a breakout, of this nature late in the morning it usually runs pretty well and that's all i did so those are the two main runners for today i'm going to keep this video a bit shorter um if you guys have any questions please feel free to uh you can message me on twitter on instagram you can send me an email tony at tony i'd be happy to answer any questions you have about trading and any questions you have about the chat room um and yeah hopefully you guys learned something new from this video if you did, please leave a like, leave a comment down below if you have any requests or recommendations. And make sure you hit the subscribe button and, and uh, the bell next to it in order to be notified of any future videos. Alright, thank you guys so much and I'll see you in the next one.